you want to talk about mental toughness and grit and will, I don't know there's a better example we've ever had than, than Ken Drell. He's a good buddy with Dak, so he's going to break us down today. If you get a chance, say hi to him afterwards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Got to you know how to do yeah. it. One, two, three. Dallas Cowboys! Yeah. I just think about him, and it's inspiration to see him and to see what he does and his talents and uh, doing it through his adversity. In Kendrell's mind, Kendrell is just a normal 18-year-old boy. He doesn't let anything stop him because he's going to do it. I don't think any of us had any idea of his relationship with Dak would have come out of just that one little conversation of what to paint. How long did it take you to realize that you could be just as good at art as anybody else? I want to make Dak. Because if I could do it for somebody like him, I could do it for anybody. At first glance, life for 18-year-old Kendrell Daniels might seem difficult. He was born without arms. But that didn't stop him. Most kids crawl. Kendrell didn't crawl. He scooted on his backside. So after that, I knew he was determined to do what everybody else did. He wanted to get around, too. So basically, you rely on your feet to do the day-to-day -day chores that anybody would, that, that has on. Mm -hmm. Never one to complain, Kendrell is quiet and keeps to himself. But when he was introduced to a program for individuals with significant disabilities at Mississippi State called Express Yourself, he found a unique way to communicate. Your brush maestro. Kendrell says it best that he's um, a man of few words, but he can express himself on a canvas in a way that he can't with words. I'm quiet, I'm smart, confident, creative. I didn't let my disability stop me from doing what I wanted to do. Do you want to move it in more? Yeah. Okay. Tell me how far. Right here. About right here. I love it. So one day we were trying to come up with something to paint, and I said, hey, how about something Mississippi State Bulldogs? And he didn't really say anything, didn't respond to that. And so because Dak is at the Cowboys, I said, how about painting something Dallas Cowboys, like maybe the star logo or something? And he, on board immediately, said, yeah, let's do it. One of my good buddies knew somebody at Mississippi State, and uh, when he brought it to me, he told me a kid, uh, a kid with no arms painted this and kind of just sat back and it was astonishing at first, like, like, what do you mean? And then he kind of tells me, but I think in a way I took it for granted until I met him. Kendrell's first painting for Dak now sits at the entrance to the quarterback's house. It inspires me to be better each and every day, and um, one of my biggest deals is mind over matter and, and turning my adversity into the strengths, and he's just the prime example of that. Can I have it? Yeah, 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 I want this thing. Heck yeah. And now, three weeks into the 2018 season, the third time in a year, Kendrell met Dak at Cowboys practice to give him yet another gift. I love it. Man, this is sweet. I'm gonna have to put this right next to my other one. Heck yeah. See that? Yeah. Appreciate that, brother. Appreciate that. That's awesome. That's awesome. Unbelievable. Appreciate you, man. Appreciate you.
Beyond Kendrell's physical disability, or DAC's physical gifts. Beyond the soft-spoken demeanor of one, or the vocal leadership of the other. That's how it's done, Kendrell. <laughs> they built a friendship on their fight, their faith, and their desire to finish everything they pursue. I know they like me, you know. He said that I inspired him, he inspired me too. Feel good, you know, they motivating the quarterback for the NFL team. Those words, fight, faith, and finish, are a testament. And uh, to see a guy like Kendrell continue to attack life and be the best he can, ignoring his, his challenges and his adversity, it's a success.